<laughs> Hildy asks, it, it has been impossible to plan a meeting in Teams for several weeks. I keep getting, schedule a meeting, doesn't work right now, try again later through the online app. I also only get answers besides the questions. Okay, who has any advice? I think they're searching, maybe when they're searching, they get answers to everything but what she's asking, maybe. Mm. That's an unusually word. That makes sense. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Word, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, first of all, I mean, how are they scheduling meetings? I'm guessing they're doing a fallback to Outlook, right? Because if the team's meeting scheduler isn't working, a lot of people will fall back to Outlook to use that instead. Um, but it definitely sounds like something in their team's application is probably corrupted in some way. So first of all, maybe uninstall and reinstall Teams and see if you've got the Teams client. If you're in the Teams browser and it's having the same type of issue, maybe it's a profile thing that needs to be cleaned up. So, you know, if you don't want to delete it out and add it back in, maybe open a Microsoft ticket, a support ticket, and see if they can look into your personal, you know, um, profile and see if maybe there's something corrupted on the backside. I put a note in here to, you know, open a support ticket, but I would do it with a partner because I know that uh, lately support tickets, especially for smaller entities or for individuals, um, you know, tend to be really, really slow. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, my, I mean, there's so many places that you can, <laughs> there's so many places you can do a meeting from. Mm -hmm. See, is it, is it yeah. where are you, where are you trying to do it? from considering and try another way if it's working from there then it's clearly whatever it is that you're in is is potentially corrupted if it's doing that especially if it's keeps um the fact that they've been trying to do it now for several weeks means it's ongoing it's not it's not a temporary something was down at the time N never goes down of course well, but <laughs> well the, so my and my next and you're you're exactly right test it out in the different things try it try it on your mobile device try it in the desktop try it in the browser uh and and then the, my next Apple. question would be right well my next question would be are other people having the same experience because that would help indicate is it you is it me is it you is it all, uh, is it all, all having, of us oh, right? i'm having the James. same issue on yeah. one of oh, my on one of my tenants the the desktop teams I cannot schedule a meeting in, um, but I don't get an error message. Just when I click save, it doesn't do anything. So I I end up using my Outlook web app and scheduling the meeting there, and then I see it in Teams. That's and that's my fallback to me. The only reason I schedule in Teams is if it's a channel meeting because that's the only yeah. place. Yeah. That. Yeah. Otherwise, I do it all from Outlook. Um, I do it all from Outlook as well. Yeah. Yeah, the add-in is there, the, the meeting settings are already there, all the things that, all the, I can add my notes from my notebook and it's already there, where Teams, special, well, it's a little bit better now, but all the options weren't available for the longest time. You'd have to save the meeting, then go back and edit it to add um, all the meeting options, like who can be a presenter and who has to wait in the lobby and all of that, where as soon as you added the Teams to Outlook, it added the little button for the meeting options. Like, well, why doesn't Teams work like that? But I think it's getting better. There's, are are you public. making a public statement to the Teams team, Sherry, about <laughs> the need to fix their meeting stuff? You, you know me. I always speak in my outside voice. I I, I drank the Kool-Aid, but I'm not drunk on it. You know, yeah. I still am real about things. So, it, and, and it is it is an issue that the fact that you have to always go back in and deal with the options, but it's always after the fact. You've got to say you don't see any of the team's links. You don't see anything to copy or help with others until you've sent it off. So and then then you've got to come back and add files or add this or links or whatever it is you need always after the fact to plan that pre-planning. It has to go before you can plan. Maybe if you upgraded a team's premium, you would have a better experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, that. this is the free version because that seems to be where all their efforts are being directed <laughs> right now is Teams Premium, right? So, mm -hmm. Well, and it's more money. Everybody else already bought the other one. They already paid for it. So why should we, you know, we'll, we'll improve the one that we want them to buy and upgrade to. It makes sense to me as a business person, but as a user, it's like, why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs>